This film is brought to you by Gemadism Industries. Proud owner, welcome to the official guidebook of the Car S. As you know, we provide different versions of the Car S. We'll begin with the Regolare. The Regolare comes with a street light and the usual double ignition. We have the double ignition so you don't accidentally disable your ignition while driving. The service weight of the Regolare is about 1300 kilos. Now we will go ahead and explain the controls. To begin with the instrumental panel. When you throttle up, you can see this indicator telling the RPM of the engine. We also have a steering wheel that moves with the wheels. Steering on the Car S, as you know, is carried out on both the front wheels and the back wheels. We have some pretty smart features in this car. If you click S, you automatically turn in backwards gear and go backwards. Space is brake. We use ABS brakes, anti-brake lock system. If you want to use a lighter brake, you can click alternative, and there's the handbrake. Holding shift enables the clutch. This will make you able to do a nice quick start. However, clutch is also activated by default, using the regular ABS brakes on space. The Car S is really powerful, and the second gear suffices to climb most surfaces. The first gear is for really steep hills. The Car S uses 7 gears. Gear 0 is backwards, negative is neutral. The Car S is called Model S70 because of its 7 liter V12 petrol engine. Car S naturally comes with a nice suspension. However, now we're moving over to the Originale. The Originale is the original design of the Car S. It's slightly lighter with 1225 kilos. In other words, it's a more sporty model. And that's not all. It features fuel. The fuel will give the car around 100 extra horsepower, which is noticeable when racing. Also, as you will notice, when you click backwards, you go backwards and then it automatically resets to forward gear so you can fast get on track again if you got a bit lost. Say hello to Prototype Prima. The Prototype Prima is uh, a much lighter version of the Originale. This is only at 1000 kilos. And features, as the earlier vehicle, all the features. However, it's slightly less stable on the road, but you can accelerate to the top speed of 135 km per hour faster. But it's still a nice uh, balance between that and Excelente, which we will look at now. On the Excelente, every kill has been saved. Only at 950 kilos, and not even streetlights, this version provides the fastest acceleration available. However, at the cost of less road stability. It should also be noted that backwards gear is a bit harder to deal with with this super light version. But hey, 
What offerings do you not make for maximum acceleration and maximum speed? We hope you will enjoy your Car S. We certainly will.